Hello, welcome to another tutorial for ePage Creator. My name is Raymond, and today I'll be showing you how to add advertisements and an introductory page. So, to start off, we have our publication, and then I want to add something in this empty space here. So, this would be the introductory uh, page or image file, uh, advertisement if you want to use it as an advertising space. Um, I can add an advertisement on the top and down the right hand side. So in order to do this I would have to first go into settings and then go to the advertising tab. So once you get to the advertising tab you'll see three sections. It's broken into three sections. Uh, the first section being show introduction page and side advertising banner. So this is talking about this area right here. So if I click check off it's gonna ask you to specify an introductory image file so any uh, file that you have created so uh, you can put it here you can put it so that um, a URL so if someone actually clicks on it it brings them to uh, any uh, website that you specify. Uh, but I'm going to just use the default and make sure I check off <clears throat> hide when book open so it hides when I actually start opening the book. So just to see what changes this does, I click apply and OK. There we go. This is the default that comes with uh, ePage Creator. Um, it's, it's a really quick guide that you can... Um, it's the same buttons that you see here along the sides and down the bottom except in a nice presentation format so this is just an intro so this is like a sample of an intro image uh, that you can use this is the, the built-in one you can add your own so moving on to advertisements um, I'm gonna make uh, advertisement on the top so have it checked off and then you have two modes tile and slideshow mode if you have more than one uh, ad you can either display them using tile or slideshow tile which is put the ads right next to each other so to show an example of tile I can go add choose an image file the ePage Creator logo, so ePageCreator.net. Duration I'll explain in a little bit, so I'm just going to leave it as 5 for now. OK. And this time I'm going to add the same image, So, but this time I'm going to add it as Google.ca. So I'm just using the same image. You can use, uh, if you have multiple uh, different add banners you can add different ones I'm just using this just to keep it simple uh, once again I'm gonna leave the duration uh, default 5 because I'll explain it later click OK and position I'm just gonna leave it center you can either change it so your banner show up uh, starting from the left center or right leave it centered click apply OK there we go the banners. Two banners, I created two banners. So if I click on one, the first one, it will bring me to epagecreator.net because that's the URL I put. And if I click on the second one, it opens up Google, just like I answered. So this is an example of um, tile. So if I go back in and let's just say I don't want tile because it takes up too much, it looks very cluttered. I can choose slideshow instead and um, this is where duration comes in so I'm pretty sure you guys would have figured it out now that duration is related to slideshow um, duration is pretty much what you think it is um, how long the actual ad stays on screen so uh, right now each ad stays on screen for five seconds so I can click on edit change this to three seconds and then it'll take there we go 
and then change the second one to mm, four seconds. And then it'll change. Yeah, there we go. Took a little bit, but it changed. Um, then hit apply and OK. And then if you pay close attention, you'll see it flash. When you see it flash, it means it's changing. So if I click on the first one, Google. Once it flashes, click on it again, opens up a new page. This means it's cycling. So pretty much um, the duration is um, you control. You can, uh, if you want one ad to have more priority over other ads, you can increase the duration up. And uh, the other ads that you know you don't want to be on screen as often, you can just bump the duration back down. So I'm not going to show uh, the advertising banner on the right hand side because it's essentially the same thing as the, the one on top. It's just going to be down this way. So when you're creating your actual banner, you have to keep in mind that it's going to be down not horizontal so you know just some design uh, to keep in mind so speaking of design um, your banner size there's actually no recommended specification it's uh, pretty much all up to your personal preference um, you can make these as long or as high as you want uh, just keep in mind that depending on how how high you make this it pushes your publication down more up. so if you make it obviously if you make it uh, really thick then your publication get pushed down a lot so just to keep that in mind when you're actually creating your banners that you want to add so this that's it fairly simple uh, this has been a tutorial on how to add advertising on the top and down the right hand side and about the intro page thank you for watching